head up, Aug. Okay, this week for our maths, we're going to be thinking about shapes. And we're going to be thinking about shapes that we can spot all around us. So I've got a few of our shapes we've been learning here and I'd like you to have a little look. And when I hold the shape up, see if you can tell me the name of this shape. Are you ready? It's a triangle. Well done if you got that right. It's a triangle. Should we count how many sides our triangle has? Can you help me? One, two. Three. Three straight sides. Shall we count the pointy corners? One, two, three pointy corners. So this is a triangle. My turn, triangle. Diane. Okay. It's a circle. Well done. And our circle doesn't have any pointy corners and it's got one curved side our circle i'll pop that down here next to my triangle okay this one is a square well done if you got that right should we count the straight sides on our square ready we'll start with the top one one two three four four straight sides one two, three, four pointy corners. Now, there's something special about a square, something special about the sides. Do any of you know what's so special about the sides on a square? The sides on a square are all the same length. So none of them are longer and none of them are shorter. They're all the same length. So this is a square. Even if I turn it like this, it's still a square. It looks a bit like a diamond shape like that, but it's still a square, however I move it, isn't it? So here's my square, I'll pop that down next to my circle. And last of all, here's a longer one. This one is a rectangle. My turn, rectangle. Here we go, let's count those straight sides. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. And should we count the pointy corners? One, two, three, four. So it has four straight sides and four pointy corners, just like a square, except the sides on our rectangle are different. Can you tell me what's different about the sides on our rectangle? Yeah. Two of the sides are long and two of the sides are short. So two are always longer and two are always shorter. So this is our rectangle. There we go, I'll pop that there. So those are our main shapes that I would like you to learn. Now, if you know those shapes, you could maybe have a look at a shape called a hexagon with your grown-ups. I'll let your grown-up show you that one. But these are our four main shapes. So we need to learn what they're called and we also need to learn about their properties. Properties. So that's when we were talking about how many sides they've got, how many pointy corners, if there's anything special about their sides. So have a go at telling your grown-ups about them too. Now I've made my shapes out of some paper. So I'd like you to have a go and see if out of some card or paper at home you could make some shapes a bit like mine. To make my circle I actually drew around a plate because my plate's a circle shape to get my circle just right. So there we go. So do that first and then we're going to be detectives again because this time we're going to go on and explore around our house but we're going to be looking for items that are different shapes and we're going to bring them down and we're going to sort them out. So if you're really, really good with your shapes, you might be able to find all four of them around your house. And if you're just starting to learn, you might like to look at just two shapes or even just one. So I chose to look at two shapes. So I'm going to move my circle and my triangle out the way. And I went around my house and I had a look for things that were a circle shape and things that were a rectangle shape. And I've brought them 
here to the table and I wonder if you could help me to sort them out. We'll have to see if I've got any that don't fit in either of these. Let's have a little look. Okay, so lots of our shape, lots of our things we find in our house have got lots of different shapes on them. So we might need to look carefully to spot where the shape is. So I'm going to start off with, oh, I'm going to start off with my piece of Lego. Can you see this? Now let's count how many sides are on here. One, two, three, four. Four sides, two are long and two are short. These are very long, aren't they? So what have I got here? Have I got a circle or a rectangle? It's a rectangle, isn't it? I'm just going to pop it on there like that. Right, next, I'm going to have a look at this. Oh, I found a lid. What shape's my lid? It's a circle, it hasn't got any pointy corners, has it? Put that on top of my circle there. Now, this one, I found a glue stick and I spotted a shape on the end of my glue stick. So this is the one I'm looking at today. Can you see that shape there? It's another circle shape, isn't it? So I've spotted a circle on my glue, so I'm going to pop it there. Oh, it's another piece of Lego here. Let's have a look at this one. Now let's count the sides. One, two, three, four sides. Let's count the pointy corners. One, two, three, four. But I don't think any of these sides are longer or shorter. I think they're all the same, do you? So this is actually a square, so can I put it on my rectangle? I can't, can I? So this one will have to go away. Right, let's have a look. Oh, now I found this. Two long sides and two short sides. It's a rectangle. There we go. Christian's reading book here. Two shorter sides and two longer sides. Can you tell what shape it is? It's another rectangle, there we go, we've got lots of those. And last of all, this from our coffee machine. And I had a look at it and it's round, it's got no pointy corners, so where will I put this one? It's a circle, there we go, well done. Now, if you are in reception, I would like you to do something a little bit extra. And I would like you to have a go at writing down a few of the things that you have found. So I've got my pen here and my board. So I looked for rectangles and circles. So I'm going to draw myself a little chart. At the top here, I'm going to do a circle shape. Here, I'm going to draw a rectangle shape. And I want to have a go at writing down a few of the things I found. So I found a lid and it was a circle shape, so lid reception, lid, lid, lid. Use my Fred fingers to help me there. So under my circle column, I'm going to write lid, lid, around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet, so a lid. Oh, I've got a book, a book, and that was a rectangle shape, so book. Can we do Fred Fingers for this one? Book, 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 book. Now remember grown-ups, let your boys and girls hear whichever sounds they think are in the words and write them down. So that time I heard a b, b, b at the beginning. B, u, u. Now it sounds like an u, so I'm going to put an u, b, u, book. There we go. So see if you can have a go at writing down a few of the things you've found too. Okay, so I hope you have fun being circle and square and rectangle and triangle detectives this morning. Well, bye, we'll see you soon.